Hey, what's up you guys? It's Connor and today I am here with my little brother Torin and today we are going to be doing our November and our Y'all Fest book hauls and show you all the books that we got this month as well as the books that we got signed at Y'all Fest. Alright, so before Y'all Fest I ended up getting a few graphic novel comic book style books to continue some series that I've already started and the first one is The Wicked and the Divine Volume 2 which is called Fandemonium and that is by Gillen. McKelvey, Wilson, and Cowles. It's about every 90 years, 12 gods, random gods, are reincarnated into young people from like teenagers to young 20s, and then they have two years to live up life and like go crazy, and then they all die before two years is up. So in the first book, one of the gods gets in trouble, and the main character is a mortal girl, and she is like totally obsessed with the gods, and she's really trying to help this god out and figure out what is going on, and so I am really excited to see how the story continues. And I think that the artwork in here is just gorgeous. I just really have enjoyed it so far and I will be reading this one very soon. The next two trade comic books that I got are Volume 4 and Volume 5 in Saga. This is by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. It's about a planet and its moon are in war against each other, the people that live on them. And the people on the planet have wings and the people on the moon have horns and two people, one from each, fall in love and have a kid together and so it's about them trying to survive and escape all the people trying to hunt them down and kill them. It's so good. The art is beautiful. I I already read volume four. It was amazing. So I'll be reading volume five very soon. I then also picked up in the same order because I needed like nine dollars more to get free shipping on Amazon. So I picked up Fairy Tale volume six. I recently read Fairy Tale volume four and I really, really enjoyed that one, so I just love this manga series and anime so much. It's just great. And obviously, I will show you some of the artwork, and I just love it. It's just goofy. All the characters are super weird, but it's so much fun. But then I also was watching, I think it was Paul's from Commentage of Fantasies video, and he was talking about his love for really old fantasy, like classical tropey fantasy and and the ones that are kind of related to like D&D &D and those kind of games. So I really wanted to try them out because I've been wanting to for a while. I really like those classic fantasy tropes like dwarves and elves and stuff. So I went ahead and I picked up the Dark Elf Trilogy by R.A. Salvatore. This has Homeland in it, I think is the first book. I have heard good things about it, but I don't think I've heard too much about it on booktube, so I'm really excited to give it a go. It's about a dark elf, and I don't really know too much about that. I know he's like some crazy warrior, so I'm really looking forward to it, but it's a chunker. But this is three books, so it should be okay. So then Torn and I went to Barnes & Noble when my parents, where did they go? They went to a wedding. Oh, they went to a wedding in Charleston the week before we went up for Y'all Fest. And so while they were gone, we went to Barnes & Noble just to check it out and, you know, grab some books. So we each got one. And the one that I got was 12 Kings and Shere Kai by Bradley P. Bolio? Bolio? <laughs> Names. I think it's mainly about a girl who doesn't really follow the rules and then it gets in a whole bunch of trouble and I think it's kind of her versus the Kings, maybe. <laughs> I remember reading Caitlin from Kitty G's review of it on Goodreads and she really liked it so I think that I'm gonna give it a go and hopefully I will really like it as well but it's also kind of big so <laughs> it's a little bit intimidating. And the book that I picked out is Mysteries of Cove, Fires of Invention by Jace Scott Savage and it's a book out this boy named Tran and this girl named uh, Calista. Calista and they're both like mechanics and they really like machines and they're in this town called Cove and that's all I know so far so I'm really excited I really need to read that book too because I got it for free on NetGalley and I never read it so <laughs> so I need to read it pretty soon this is the same author that wrote the Far World series that I've really enjoyed so it should be pretty good Okay, so now we're going to show you all the books that we got at Y'all Fest. We each ended up buying six books at Y'all Fest, but I also brought six to get signed by the authors. So I'm going to go quickly through the books that I got signed, and then 
we will show you the books that we bought. So the first book that I got signed was by Brandon Mull. Brandon Mull is one of my favorite middle grade authors ever. I buy all of his books and I read all the books that I can get. I think I've read all of them except for the third book in the Five Kingdoms series and I have not read the Candy Shop Wars yet but I've read Beyonders and Fable Haven and love them both. And so I got my favorite book from Fable Haven signed is The Rise of the Evening Star and there's his signature. I'm sure you've heard me talk about this book but if you haven't I'm about to do a book review for this whole series so stay tuned for that. Then the next book that I ended up getting signed was also by Brandon Mull and that was the first book in the Beyonders trilogy. This is the first book by Brandon Mull that I ended up reading and it was so good. I really liked it. It's a portal fantasy so if you're not about portal fantasies then you might not really enjoy it. So basically this story is about a boy named Jason and Jason falls through a portal which just so happens to be inside of a hippopotamus's mouth and he wakes up in a different world and it's being ruled by this evil guy and he is kind of taking over everything and there's this small resistance group so he kind of gets involved in that and he's trying to save a bunch of people from this world kind of standard middle grade but it was really good I really liked all of the different characters and the different creatures and the different species that are in this world they are so good I really thought they were really imaginative and unique and I haven't read a lot of those things before and there's also a main female character named Rachel she also gets to this world from earth going through a portal so it's just a lot of fun I really liked it I highly highly recommend this one I think I like this one a little bit more than Fable Haven but it might just be because I read it first and I got Spirit Animals, the first book, Wildborn, in the Spirit Animals series by Brandon Mull signed. Every book is written by a different author, which is really cool. Yeah, so this one is by Brandon Mull. The second one is by Maggie Steve Otter. And the third one is by Garth Nix. I don't know beyond that, but I think that Marie Lou has a book in the series. And so it's a lot of popular young adult and middle grade authors have all contributed to the series. And this is about four kids getting spirit animals. And there's this thing called nectar that they drink to get their spirit animals. And they, they don't get ordinary spirit animals. They get these four fallen creatures that were really legendary in their time. And you're also not guaranteed to get an animal. So when you take this nectar, you could just not get an animal at all. And actually, I'm almost done with it. So, and it was really good has a video game aspect so it has a computer game like an online game and every time you get a book you get a different code and it helps you unlock things so I thought that was really cool and he has the next two books in the series so the other books that I already own that I got signed to were by Scott Westerfeld and the first one is Midnighters the secret hour this is the first book in the Midnighters trilogy it's about these people that are all born exactly at midnight and so they have an extra hour of the day that no one else has and they each have these special abilities within the hour and I think they also transfer over into real life as well but not everywhere has this midnight hour so you have to be in specific locations to to be able to access this extra hour and I really 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 enjoyed this series this is my favorite Scott Westerfeld series that I've read but I've only read this one and the Uglies trilogy speaking of I got Ugly signed by Scott Westerfeld as well and so I'll just show you his signature looks like that but yeah so if you're kind of wanting to check out Scott Westerfeld I definitely recommend this series I forgot to tell you what Uglies is about Uglies is about these people that when they turn 16 I think it is they get uh, turned pretty and so all of their flaws are taken away and they can look however they want and the main character she wants to become pretty but then something prevents her from becoming pretty and so it's a whole bunch of drama because of that and she has to survive it's a dystopian young adult novel and i really did enjoy them while i read them i think i still need to read extras but i've kind of been putting it off it hasn't been on my priority list yet but i'll be getting to it soon so brandon sanderson was there brandon sanderson was there and i was so excited that was the main draw to y'all fest for me other than meeting all the amazing booktubers that i met and got to hang out with which i'm editing my vlog video soon so that should be up soon but it was so much fun i made so many amazing friends definitely definitely go to book events if you are able if they are close to you because they are so worth it but the two books that i brought from brandon sanderson you could bring three and i was like trying to be cool by only bringing two and i regret that decision because i wish i brought three but the first one i brought was the final empire and this is obviously the first book in the mistborn series I don't I think I've talked about it enough on my channel so if you don't know what it is check it out and read it because it's the best book ever and that is his signature 
so excited. And the other book that I got signed from him that I brought with me was Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. I've also talked about this book on my channel a fair amount, but not as much as Miss Bourne. But it's about this princess and she's to marry this god king of another kingdom, but then last minute the father ends up sending the youngest daughter instead, so it follows both princesses, the younger one having to deal with all of the political drama of going to this new country and figuring out what is going on, and also the older sister who has decided that she needs to save her sister. It also follows one of these uh, kind of god-like people that are worshipped within this kingdom, and it's just so good. It's just so good. Read it, read it, read it. It's amazing. Okay, so we also ended up buying some books there that were already signed. I pre-ordered four books and then I bought two while I was there and Torn ended up buying six books while he was there. So, uh, burp. so we're gonna show you those books and kind of tell you a bit about why we picked them up. While I was getting my Spirit Animals books signed, Brennan Mole recommended me to Sky Raiders, the first book in the Five Kingdom series. And he already had it signed. So he just everything. got it personalized, so it just says Hi Torn at the top and then his signature. And the Five Kingdom series is about a boy named Cole who goes through a portal after his friends are kidnapped and he is trying to save them and get them out of slavery. So it's really cool. I also went to a panel with Brandon Mole on it that he talks about what inspired him to write this book and it was really funny so I'll go more over that in my like vlog y'all fest wrap up. Then Torrent also ended up buying another book by Brandon Mole because Brandon Mole was so funny. We went to this Harry Potter panel the both of us did and he was so funny in it and he was really passionate about Harry Potter and I was just like you're the coolest and so Torrent ended up buying another book from him. And it was Beyonders A World Without Heroes and the reason I bought this book is I remember when we were in Walmart Connor was trying to buy one of the Beyonders book and I was he trying got to buy the third a one. um Wanna Walmart exclusive edition book. It had a sticker and it wasn't removable and so my book says Walmart on it which makes me so mad. And I also heard my brother talking about it a lot and how good it was so I picked it up and he uh, signed it for me and says hi Torin again. It's the same signature but Brandon Mole's so great, freaking read his books. So because I could only bring three books, even though I only brought two, I wanted to make sure I got as many signed Brandon Sanderson books as I possibly could. So I ended up getting The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson and it was already signed. And this book is about these people that do chalk drawings and they use them to battle. So they draw like a circle around themselves and then they do all of these different shapes and these different chalk figures to attack other people it's like dueling and stuff and it follows a, a boy who is the son of a chalk maker and it is so good I haven't read it in a long time so I don't remember too much about it but I'm gonna be rereading it soon so that I can be ready for when the next book comes out I think it comes out in 2017 though so not on the top of my TBR list but I will definitely be reading it I also ended up picking up the first two books in the Reckoner series Steelheart and Firefight by Brandon Sanderson they're both signed it's the same signature so I'm not gonna show you over and over again but these follow this guy named David and in the first book he witnesses his father being murdered by a guy named Steelheart and so he's on a path for revenge and he's trying to kill Steelheart. All the people that have superpowers in these books are evil so yeah so they always try to take down these different superheroes and it's so cool and I think this book has a really weird sense of humor like the main character is really terrible at metaphors so yeah so if you read these books be prepared for some really bad metaphors that don't make any sense. And the last book from Brandon Sanderson that I ended up picking up was Shadows of Self. This is the fifth book in the Mistborn series but the second book that follows Wax and Wayne and I'm just love it just love it so much and I don't really know what I'm gonna do with all of my other editions of these books. Maybe I'll just let Torn read them. Maybe I'll use them as like lending copies so I'll get people to read Brandon Sanderson by lending the books that are not signed but I'm gonna keep them I think because I love Brandon Sanderson. And speaking of Brandon Sanderson I also picked up Steelheart and I bought it signed so I didn't have to wait in a super long line to get it signed as she well. She had a really long line. I don't even need to explain the book he already did so let's move bonus. on. Bonus! And I also picked up Six of Crows and well, we both did. <laughs> While I was in a store for near the Y'all Fest tent area, the Blue Bicycle Store, I remember my brother talking about this book, and I knew he wanted it maybe. So I was like, uh, we should get this and both get it. So we both got it. Six, Six of Crows, Crows by Lee Bardugo. And I waited in a line for like two, like one and a half hours. Yeah. 
<laughs> for, it, was for a, it was a really long line and she was really cool though she like ended up dressing up for it i wasn't in the line but i saw her later in a, pa a panel but she like dressed up for it and she was really nice she's also a slytherin she was at the harry potter panel and she was like i'm in slytherin and we're better than everyone else <laughs> so i was like you're the best ever i love you wow these like these are like really cool drawings i like that here's my signature and she wrote for me to be dangerous and then on mine, she wrote, the ice does not forgive, and she said to Connor, and then signed it. And this book, if you don't know what it's about, it's in the same world that she set the Grisha trilogy in, but it follows a bunch of different characters in a different place, and I've heard just amazing, amazing things. And also, They're it's black. pretty, so I had to get it. I wasn't the biggest fan of how the Grisha trilogy ended. I, it was just okay to me. I wasn't, like, super excited about it or anything, but I've heard such amazing things about this book so i'm really excited to read it i think torn and i will probably end up buddy reading it at some point point. and so the last book i picked up torn ended up buying it for me because i was in a panel at the time and i had we had seen her earlier at the harry potter panel that was literally the best one it was so much fun and she was really funny and she was really interactive and i wasn't ever planning on picking this book up ever because it was kind of advertised as a standalone and then it was actually a sequel, so I was just kind of like butthurt about that. <laughs> uh, but I ended up picking it up, and that is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. She was super nice at Y'all Fest. I didn't get it signed personally, but she was really cool. And this book is about ancient Rome, and I'm a classical studies major, so it just really makes sense that I would be interested in this book. And, oh, bookmarks are falling out. And she ended up signing it. She has like a really weird signature. It's like a mask or something, so... That was really cool, and I should be reading it in the future at some point. Torn ended up going to all the panels that I wanted to go to in the morning on Saturday, and so we ended up going to this one called Fur Fangs and, and something else. It was about creating creatures within fantasy, and there was one author there. She was really nice, and so Torn was really interested in her book. And it is Scorched by... Mary... Uh, Mancusi? Mancusi? Is that your name? Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> sorry about that. You're really cool on the panel, though. Yeah. It's about these two twins. One's name is Connor, and he's kind of like the good guy, and then he has a twin brother who Connor doesn't really like. And then there's also a girl character that is kind of trying to decide between the two and which one is right and which one is wrong. She can't really decide, but uh, it's got dragons in it, so <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. I love dragons. And here's like the color. I like it. And the- oh my gosh, that's awesome! <laughs> I want that book now. <laughs> I should have got it while I was there and gotten it signed. That's really cool. And it has a texture, like a oh, scale yeah. texture. You can feel the teeth. And I am really excited to read it and I really hope it's really good. I think the next two books are already out, so if you really like it, you can get those. Yep. And the last book I picked up while getting scorched is Talon by Julie Kagawa. And this book has a really cool texture. But it feels like scales on the cover, like it's raised a little bit. So that's really cool. I remember people getting this uh, a long time ago when it first came out, and that was like one of the things that people are always doing is like feeling the book while they were talking about it. And this book is about these dragons that were hunted down and nearly were extinct. And the dragons in this book can turn into humans, so they have two different forms. They have a dragon form and a human form, so they can blend into human society, and that's what they're doing at the beginning of the first book, I think. I've heard some mixed things about it. I, I've watched a couple of reviews. I think I watched Kaz's view from Little Book Owl, but I've also heard some really good things, so we'll see how Torrin likes it. And also, if he ends up really liking it, then I'll probably borrow it and read it too. But that is not all. So when we got back from Y'all Fest, I forgot I had made a book outlet order. So that came while we were gone in Charleston, and so I ended up already opening it, so I can just pretend that I'm seeing them for the first time if you really want me to. But the first book that I ended up getting was The Adventures of Tom Bombadil by J.R.R. Tolkien. This is just a little cute hardcover edition of it. And Tom Bombadil is my favorite character in The Lord of the Rings. He's in the Fellowship of the Ring and he's a like a nature spirit and he's actually the oldest being in Middle Earth. So I really wanted to read some stories about him. I think that he wrote these stories before writing The Lord of the Rings if I'm getting that correct. So I really want to read them and see how they are. I think they have a couple other stories, but I think that the cover is like just really pretty and they have really nice end pages as well. Like I think the end pages is just the cover, but like that's really pretty. 
I also ended up picking a book that I've already read. I got this book on NetGalley and I liked it so much that I ended up buying it when I saw it on there and that is Under the Empyrean Sky by Chuck Wendig. I think I've talked about this in my last couple of wrap ups but this series is about a, a few main characters that are from this town and it's living on the ground but all the rich people live up on these floating flotillas and the earth has been taken over by corn and it's like bad corn like you can't eat it and it cuts you and it's just really awful and the the conditions that the pe these people are living in are terrible and everyone has arranged marriages and they just kind of decide enough's enough and they decide to better their lives and fight back it's a science fiction novel and it's kind of young adults upper young adult lower adult it's not new adult though because it's not really romance heavy but I just really 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 enjoyed it I read it so fast and I highly highly recommend it and also if you're looking for more LGBT reads there is a gay character in this so there's that as well and the last book that I got this month I'm not buying any more books until Christmas I'm not even going to participate in the Black Friday sale, I don't think. So I ended up getting Providence of Fire by Brian Stavely. This is the second book in the Chronicles of the Unhewn Throne. And it's about three different siblings that are the children of the Emperor. And at the beginning of the first book, the Emperor is murdered or dies or is killed or whatever. And so all the siblings are having to deal with that and are, are now having to fight for the throne, I guess. But they're all... In alliance with each other like they are trying to fight for uh, this character named Caden. Caden is the one that's the heir to the throne so they're trying to survive and trying to keep everybody alive and they're trying to keep their throne and I really enjoyed the first book. The first book was definitely a coming of age story and it was pretty brutal at some points like there's some harsh I don't know abuse I guess to some of the characters and so if you're not about that then I wouldn't suggest reading this but I think that this one is gonna get more into the daughter character which was not really present too much in the first book so it should be really interesting and I'm gonna get to it soon as well I'm gonna get to all my books soon so oh my gosh how many books was that so many I don't even know I haven't even counted but if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see Torn and more videos, please give it a big thumbs up. And comment down below what books you've gotten recently or if you are now interested in going to a book event like Y'all Fest. And we will talk to you guys next time. Bye!